You can't get on the bus right here. No. This is the man that investigators say is responsible for a horrible crime against a five-year-old girl. Authorities say he tried to board a bus just moments after he sexually assaulted the girl in Bradenton. The little one was outside playing with friends when she was approached. Investigators tell us that the little girl was lured away from her home here at the Wayside Glen community and that she was taken just feet away where her attacker bought her candy. And that's when the real troubles began. Surveillance video inside the store captures the images of the suspect and child. From there, authorities say the man took the girl to the Aloha Estates mobile home park where he choked her and sexually assaulted her in an abandoned mobile home. After the ordeal, she managed to get away and run home. She actually ran across a busy intersection and we're uh, fortunate that she wasn't struck on her way home. Chopper searched the community looking for clues. All while neighbors here are on edge. I'm scared. I'm already scared. I'm shaking and I'm an adult. Imagine what that little kid went through. People like that I have no use for. That's just wrong. It's just a kid. Those on the case hope the video will provide some answers. They want this guy before he has a chance to strike the most innocent of victims once again. It's pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I call this guy a predator. In Bradenton, Rob Wells, SNN Local News.